Hello, and welcome to the Learning Autodesk Inventor 2016 course from O'Reilly Media. Autodesk Inventor is a robust engineering documentation software purpose-built to allow designers to create, visualize, and simulate their work in a digital prototype. A digital prototype allows users to reduce those hefty costs. Hello, and welcome to the Learning Autodesk Inventor 2016 course from O'Reilly Media. Autodesk Inventor is a robust engineering documentation software purpose-built to allow designers to create, visualize, and simulate their work in a digital prototype. A digital prototype allows users to reduce those hefty costs surrounding physical prototyping and to mitigate errors due to archaic two-dimensional drafting systems. If you can reduce these overall costs, you'll help get your product to market faster and with less overhead. Looking here at the front loader on screen, we can immediately see the benefits of creating a robust model to check for interferences, general functionality, and the space claim of our design. We can see there's multiple parts and sub-assemblies that comprise this design in our three-dimensional world. We can also create fabrication prints off of these three-dimensional models as well. Inventor's parametric and associative file structure will allow for the quick updates across multiple areas of your model and allow for those fast responses to design changes. So if our front loader needed to have a larger wheelbase or a shorter cab structure, we could build our model to suit those probable changes. And since the files are linked, those updates will propagate to the drawings and to anything else that's linked or shared between these files. If we had a component inside of this design that was shared across multiple other products that we have, one change made to that file can update all of the products in that series as well. So it's not just having a isolated design. We can share these parts throughout multiple designs and have them update accordingly. Now in this course, we're going to learn about part design, assembly design, assembly visualization, and model documentation to help create fabrication and assembly prints. However, we will not be using this large assembly to complete these tasks. This is just a sample design here I wanted to show you of a very large, completed design, very robust, but this is just too big and too unwieldy for us to complete in our learning course here. So instead, we're going to look at our tools at a smaller scope and apply a lot of what we are learning to a simplified version of this loader in a children's toy form. So here we have a much smaller, more simplified loader, it's very blocky in nature, but we're gonna be focusing on our design tools. We're gonna to be learning about proper technique and command usage to help us create those robust